Yeah, it was the biggest goal for me this year at the start of the year. I wanted to, uh, if I was there about making the squad, um, you know, I was happy. So, yeah, I'm, so I'm glad and privileged to be a part of the team and uh, getting prepared for the World Cup. Every time you get picked for England, it's a great honour. And, uh, you know, it's, it's obviously something different from your club rugby. It's a, a bit of a refreshing change to, to meet up with new players and new squad, new environments. And, um, and obviously the way... You know the resources we've got at England now at our disposal. You know it's very high tech, very scientific, and things like that. So it's obviously you know a huge honour to be selected, like I've said, and you know I'm made up, and you know, just, you know hopefully I'll get the chance to, to play in the World Cup. And you know this year I think we've we've got a very good chance. Yeah, like you say, there's quality players, mate. You don't really get the chance to play with the likes of uh, these these top quality internationals every week. So. It's something that you've got to honour and treasure as a player. You're looking forward to, to linking up with the, the NRL-based players as well, James Graham, the Burgess brothers, uh, you know, Gareth Woodup. Yeah, all the NRL-based players, you know, they're going to be they're going to be a massive boost to the squad. Uh, they've, they've all been going well over there for the last few years and last couple of years, and and the young twins this year, so that they've been awesome. And but not just them, uh, everyone over here, everyone you know, because. You look at the squad and everyone that's in it, uh, you know, it's pretty, pretty quality across the whole park. Yeah, I think it's definitely one of the strongest squads uh, England have had for a number of years. There's, you know, strength in depth. I think this year, obviously, there's an argument for a lot of people who've not been selected in the squad who could have possibly been in the squad, and you know, there'd been no questions asked. So, I think it's good from a, you know, Steve's point of view that he's got that many players challenging for places, and from an England point of view, everyone's, you know, obviously been selected uh, by merit and we can go out there and hopefully you know give a good account of ourselves in this World Cup and like you say I do I do really fancy our chances. How much are you looking forward to being chaperoned by the Burgess brothers? Yeah well obviously you know Sam and, uh, and George and Tom and all them they've, they've all done really well over in Australia and, and made a big name themselves and I think that's uh, you know they've, they've probably helped us in a way that, that they've probably earned a bit more respect for English players uh, but like I said, they've done fantastic over there, and what I've seen of them, they've obviously been holding their own. The big, you know, intimidating players, and they obviously kind of uh, demand respect through how physical they are. And like I said, we can use that to our advantage, and you know, just set them out on the park, let them do what they do, and and hopefully we'll get a bit of joy off the back of that. You know, the club campaign's over. I know a lot of players throughout the course of the year have been saying that it, that England and the World Cup's been at the, at the back of the mind. But honestly, how, how long have you been thinking of this this opening ceremony and that that game against Australia? Uh, well, ever since you know it's announced that the World Cup's going to be in England, really, you, it's always at the back of your mind, and you know I'm sure every player will say they're concentrating on the club rugby week in, week out. You're, you're with your club, and you know we'll, we'll deal with England when it gets to that time. But it is always in the back of your mind. Do you know what I mean? You've always got that desire, that will yeah. that you want to wear the English jersey and represent the country, and and uh, you know and do everyone proud. So I think it's always been in the back of your mind, and you know hopefully. You know, now, now we're meeting up, it's all becoming a little bit more real, isn't it? And, and obviously today's the first, first day of full-on training with the, the, uh, well, the, the, the nominated World Cup squad, if you like. So, you know, it's uh, intense to step up from here and everything will gear towards the, the opening campaign, the opening ceremony. Yeah, definitely. I think we've got it to win the World Cup for sure. Um, we'd be silly going into it thinking not a chance. But I think... Um, I think... That, we should be confident and believe in ourselves because we've got the ability there, we've got the talent, definitely got the four pack. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be uh, something, you know, not only us as a squad, but as the whole country to look forward to.